There is so much information out there on how to meet women. There's lots of dating advice. I mean, it's endless. It's infinite how much time you could spend learning this stuff. I mean, even on this channel and today, at this time, making this video, I'm at around probably 700 videos, and that's just from one channel. So I know there's a lot of different places where you can learn this stuff, and it can get quite overwhelming because there's so much information. It's like, how do you piece it all together? How do you make this all work for you? And people hear about pickup techniques, natural techniques. They hear about direct game and indirect game, and it could be a whole mess. So what I plan to do on this video is give you an idea of what I believe is the best way to be able to meet women and the type of strategies that you should be implementing in order to do so. As I see it, everything that I've learned, everything that I see that people are teaching, there seems to be two categories, okay? There is the pickup category and then there's the more natural category and then some are kind of intertwined it can get a little confusing but there's the pickup artist route and then there's like the natural route so in the pickup route there is a lot of uh, different techniques that are used to uh, kind of give off a different vibe than who you really are so instead of working on some of the core issues like conversation skills or charisma it gives you a lot of routines it gives you a lot of lines to say that make you look better than you actually are so it feels like you're kind of copying copying and pasting some of this stuff onto you so you're just kind of copying and and using this stuff but it's not really portraying who you are it's not really building you up to be a valuable guy now i'll say this whatever techniques and systems are out there i'm sure they all work to some degree I'm sure everything out there works to some degree, at least some of the time. But the problem is, is when you're using stuff that's more copy and paste methods, it doesn't actually create a valuable person, meaning it doesn't translate to you being a, val a valuable guy who is actually attractive to women. It's just, again, women being attracted to more of these copy and paste techniques. Then there's more of the natural method. I would say that trip advice falls into this category. Yes, I do have certain lines that you use, and yes, I do have some techniques that you use that might not seem exactly congruent with who you are, but mainly in the natural method, it's more about becoming a valuable guy and learning the skill set of being able to become comfortable with you are, who you are, and actually building confidence real confidence, not just a bunch of fake it till you make it. Yes, there are some good things that I, even I do teach that are fake it till you make it. So it just pushes you to get out there to meet women. But at the end of the day, the natural techniques seem to be more sustainable, more long term. A quick story about how I learned to meet women and be able to learn how to become my most attractive self was I initially learned from the pickup methods, right? Learning from books like The Game, even though I know that's not a how-to book, but you still kind of learn some stuff from there. And then you go on the internet and learn some of the pickup stuff. And I'm gonna say some stuff is good and it's very usable and works very well. But if you're just under that camp, and this is what I found out, it just didn't seem congruent with who I was. It seemed weird. I seemed very out of place. Like I was becoming someone, not of a better person or a better version of myself, but someone completely different. And I couldn't really get in with it. Now, that was my experience. There are other people out there who have great experiences with it. Um, so, so be it for them. But from my experience, I found when I threw out some of that stuff, when I said, okay, no, let me start from scratch here. Let me just build up conversation skills. Let me build up how it looks to be charismatic. Let me become more comfortable in front of women. Let me try to let my natural personality shine through as I'm talking to people. Because what I found was one of the things that held me back was just being nervous and fearful and shy. And I find that a lot of guys go through the same thing. It's very rare that a guy is not shy at all and still has trouble meeting women. It's possible, but it's very rare. So I discovered, and I'm not saying that this is uh, mind blowing, like I'm the one who discovered this, I'm sure many people have, but at least I know that I didn't know other people were discovering this, but what I discovered was that if I were to work on just being able to communicate better 
and then understanding what it is that women found attractive so I can eventually become that guy, be more interesting, be more unpredictable, be more attractive. If I can learn how to kind of step into that, grow into that, update myself into that, then eventually it would be congruent with who I am and it wouldn't be a bunch of, like I said, copy and paste methods. It took a long time. It took, you know, probably around a full year of going out and approaching and becoming comfortable and learning how to maneuver conversation in a way that would depict my personality in a way that would be able to pull the attraction triggers in a woman. And even though it took that long, that's just kind of what it takes. That's what I have to say here is that it kind of takes a long time. But like I said, it's more sustainable. And if we're talking about time, by the way, even if you were to use just a lot of pickup techniques, it's still going to take you a long time because you're going to have to go out, do the approaches and practice that stuff. So no matter what, you're in this for the long haul if you really want to make serious changes in your life when it comes to talking to women, dating women, sleeping with women, getting into relationships. But like I said, it's going to be more sustainable, more long term changes when you do it the more natural way. And that's the stuff that I teach. That's the stuff if this is not your first video of trip advice. That's the stuff that you've seen me teach and you've seen me talk about. So I just believe that the best game or the best technique or system for you in terms of being better with women is going out first and just learning how to talk to people. Yes, you can use some techniques if you want to use some opening lines or pickup lines, you know, to get into conversation, that's fine. I like to call that stuff training wheels. So yeah, you're going to be using a little bit of copy and paste stuff just to begin with. So it forces you into conversation. So it forces you to have the experiences of going out and meeting and talking to women. Because if you're stuck and you have no idea what to say, at least you can be what I call armed with an opener so you can start the conversations with the women that you're meeting. And of course, I just want to give a quick side note. Everything I'm talking about here is not related to meeting women online. So what I'm talking about is what's called the cold approach, meaning going up to a woman that you see somewhere outside of your house, doesn't matter where it is, and starting a conversation. I believe this is also one of the best ways to learn. A lot of guys just stick to online, but eventually the thing is, so you're going to be in front of a woman eventually. Even if you get a woman online and then meeting them in person, eventually you're in person with them. So that's the stuff that you want to practice first and foremost. And the best way to do that, going out, doing a lot of approaches, talking to a lot of women, being armed with a couple of openers that get you into conversation. And then for the first few months, getting to the point where you're comfortable having random, boring conversation. The biggest mistake that I see that guys make is they watch my videos or other videos or, or whatever they're doing and they try to kind of take it all in at once and do everything at once. It's like if I were to teach you how to play guitar, it's like you trying to learn all the chords and all the scales at once so you can learn one song all at once. That's not how it works. How it actually works is taking it step by step by step. So you need to be able to go out and have a conversation with a woman, with any woman, even if you're not attracted to her, before you can get good at, let's say, flirting, or at least closing and getting her number or transitioning to an instant date, which is taking her on a date right there and then. You're not gonna be able to do all that stuff if you can't go up and just have a normal conversation. So the best strategy here for you is to look at it like a very long journey. I would say, if you can be consistent with it, a nice year, a full year, and I don't mean starting January 1st, I just meaning starting tomorrow or today and doing it for a full 12 months from today as the start date. Starting off with you going out, having boring conversations, and that might take a month and that's okay because you're giving yourself a year on this long journey. So you go out, have a lot of boring conversations. Once you get to that point, you're gonna see that the nervousness is gonna start to subside. Then at that point, you can come back and you can learn what it means to flirt. What does it mean to tease a girl? What does it mean to give a compliment or show interest? What does it mean to be dominant in the interaction, to move the interaction along and further along so you get to the point where you're actually on a date or you guys are in the bedroom together or even in a relationship? Again, all starting with boring, normal conversation. 
And then little by little, you kind of tack on something else. Like I said, after that, maybe you work on flirting. After that, maybe you take a break from the approaches and you work on your style. So you work a little bit on the outer qualities and just to get yourself dressing well, working on hygiene, things like that, while you're still approaching and having boring conversations. I think you're getting the point here. Don't underestimate having a lot of boring conversations because again, you're gonna be more comfortable one of the things that women are attracted to is confidence and confidence is shown when you are comfortable the more comfortable you are in front of women she's going to assume that you're confident she's even probably going to assume that you've been with other women and women like that because that says and signals to them that there's something interesting about you there's something about you that is likable now one thing you can do to speed up the process is a lot of guys they do coaching, uh, they watch videos like this, they get courses, kind of like my course called Hooked. By the way, if you want access to that, there is a link down in the description below. So you get help, you get extra help, more advanced help from outside of yourself. Now, what that's gonna do is that's gonna speed up the process. But no matter what, even if you do get coaching, even if you do get a course, you should still give yourself a year. Because even with that, it's gonna take practice because you're gonna learn the right moves and the right strategies to put into place, and you're still gonna to have to practice that. So let's say, for example, you get my Hooked program, that course that I talked about, and it teaches you kind of steps A to Z, what to do and what steps to take. You still have to implement those steps. You still have to put it into action. There's no real magic bullet. Everything still takes work. But the good thing is, is it's less of a guessing game. So that's why you watching this video, you studying podcasts, courses, coaching, all that stuff is super helpful so you don't waste time. And then even some guys, they get to a point where it's like a sticking point where they're stuck, where they can't get further in their evolution in terms of meeting women. They'd find that they're still getting rejected, they're getting flaked on, they're getting ghosted, something is going on. That's where you get a course or outside sources to kind of look at what's going on to kind of fix that issue. But like I said, this still takes work. So what I want to do in this video is really motivate you and say that even if you're using a natural method or even if you're using a PUA method, that you should still be going out there and putting in the work to do this if you want to see optimal results, that there is no shortcut. But really, in the scheme of things, how long is a year out of your life? Even if you're watching this and you're 50 years old, still one year is not that much. And then after that year, if you're putting in the right work, doing the right things, getting past your sticking points, you're gonna be at a significantly better place. Most guys don't do this. I'll be honest, most guys don't do this. They don't put in the hard work. I'm gonna say this, humble brag, I did, but that's what got me to this place of being able to coach and teach you because I really wanted it. I really wanted to solve this problem. And I realized that dating, sex, relationships is an important part of our lives. It was an important part of my life. I'm sure it's an important part of your life, especially if you're watching this video. So why not put that work in? Why not get involved in this so you could be happy in this area? And this is a message to you, especially if you're one who's looking for a relationship. Relationships are a big factor on your happiness. What I mean is, this is not me pushing you into a relationship, but what I'm saying is if you're a guy who already wants to get into a relationship, if you get into a bad relationship, if it doesn't work out, if you pick the wrong woman, if you get a divorce, it can cause a lot of trouble with your life. It can be a really poor decision if you pick the wrong woman. Not just a poor decision, but a life-changing decision. Really something that is going to completely affect the course of your life. Again, not trying to scare you here. All you gotta do is put in this work, put in a little bit of work to be able to get better at this and meet the right woman, and then you will significantly lower your chances of having that issue. So again, I wanna motivate you to do this in the most natural way possible, learning how to build the skill set of being more charismatic, more interesting, less shy, so that lasts a lifetime, and then being able to find the type of relationship that you want. Like I said, if you'd like to speed up this process, my course called Hooked, which is a series of videos that takes you from A to Z, is in the description down below. Hooked is a course that starts you right from the beginning. Like I said, you want to start right from the beginning, right at a point where 
you're just kind of moving forward linearly with all the different steps so you're not making any mistakes and so you're starting at a point that's building you up from the ground up. So in the course, what we do is we start you with learning what attraction is. How does attraction work? Once you understand that, then we can teach you the how. How do you actually build attraction through my TED system, which again, I talk about in this program. There's a video that talks all about my TED system, tension, entertainment, and dominance, the three things you need to trigger attraction. And then once you do that and learn how to do that, how does it look in the real world? What does this actually look like when you're approaching a woman? And then, and the most important, which is what I'm trying to say in this video, how do you practice that? How do you implement that? How do you make that as part of your lifestyle so you're going out using the right techniques and the right strategies to naturally build a person that's more attractive? And then I also go into a lot of the outer qualities, the outer qualities being how do you dress, how do you groom, how do you look good that's gonna be easiest and optimal to being your most attractive self. Then we combine all that together, give you an implementation plan for you going out and actually using this stuff and then you start to see results. So we go really deep into this whole idea of attraction and how you can be the guy to trigger it. I want you to check it out. It's really amazing and it's really gonna get you to the next level. The link, like I said, is in the description below. Check that out, listen to what I said, and hopefully at the very least I've convinced you that let's take one year, one solid year to get this going and let's motivate you to put this into practice.